Hey, hello guys. So we were at this block, right? So I could, have, I, I think I have explained to you in a nutshell, like how are these communication is happening. I've told you about the mailbox. I've showed you about transgender data block. I've showed you what is cover group, what is scoreboard, what is interface, what is design, what is your environment, what is it top block. That's it, right? Why system mailbox is used? Why we don't go for the basic uh, things, right? I explained you this pretty enough. Now let's say let's pick up one design block. Let's see what is the design block, right? So let's say let's say I am picking one dual port RAM. So look, I don't want a very basic A is going to B plus C, right? That will not look good. I just put up a dual port RAM, okay? So it's a very simple block again. So what is what is what what I'm going to do here is like uh, you see uh, WR zero is one. It means this is a read operation and WR1 is 1, it's again a read operation. And when WR0 is 0, WR1 is 1. In both these cases, this is the right operation. Okay, so this, you will understand now very quickly. You see data 0 in, data 1 in, there are two different uh, input ports, okay, and uh, data 1 out and data 1 out. Oh, so this is this is data zero out, data zero out and data one out are the two different output ports, right? So based on the WR zero value, right, or WR one value. So suppose whenever these two values are uh, in a way one, right? So this will be a read operation. So whatever is your uh, uh, data zero out, that will read something from the memory. So this is a memory block. So when your address zero okay whatever address it is pointing that particular address so this is a six bit address right so suppose you are saying this is nothing but say it is nothing but three, three two take h hexadecimal i'm giving okay and so, so say this is i take h 30. so at this 30 memory location hexadecimal <coughs> read the value <coughs> and address 0, suppose 32, right? So this memory, so suppose the, this is the address 32 and this is 30. Okay, so 32, so address 0, so this, this will go to data out. And uh, 30, this particular value, whatever is there in the memory, this will go to data 1. Okay, this is clear, no problem. Similarly, suppose uh, WR0 is 0 and WR1 is 1. So whatever is data 0 in, that will just go to the memory value. So suppose data 0 in is like 8F. So this is a 8-bit number. So tick catch 8F. And similarly, this, this is tick catch 0, right? Based on this, suppose 30 or suppose 32, right? So this particular memory, 32, will, will have the right value of so data 0 in right so 32 will have the value of 8f and 30 will have the value of 40 that's it right i think you got it now how is the code written you can see yourself there is an interface block there is you see dram underscore if dot duty interface right so you even think like oh this is looking complicated right how how this guy has written this code so let's see what is the interface block first so this is the interface block. I'm just putting the duty again. So you see, there's an interface DRAM in interface input clock. So you see, uh, I'm calling the clock externally. So even in the diagram, right? Suppose you see, this clock is the external block here, this one, right? This is the external clock, okay? So I'm getting an external clock, okay? And you see, I'm declaring a logic variable, some variables, which is, which is like just to, for the interface to know, right? So th there is no directions here, right? But this, these are the same variables which are there in the duty, right? Same variables. Names are same, but there is no directions. Uh, I'm not declaring anything as a port, right? These are just the logic variables, that's it. There's a clocking block, and you see there is something called as input hash one nanosecond and output hash one nanosecond, right? So uh, the question arises, uh, what do you mean by that, right? So so in default input one nanosecond or output one nanosecond, it means that uh, when your positive edge of clock will come right so your input will be sampled one nanosecond before the positive edge of clock so uh, what may happen that there can be a race around conditions okay so 
what do you mean by the tracer of conditions so let's see this is the duty and this is a duty and this is the stimulus so what may happen so suppose <coughs> it is driving something to duty right and duty is driving something back to the stimulus okay so let's say uh, so stimulus itself uh, will suppose stimulus itself you have initialized uh, you are your calling another duty right to write some values right so suppose these are like uh, abb programming your okay bus programming right uh, so how, how would you determine that you would, you are you are called the duty inside the stimulus itself right uh, and you are called you have called some variable something this way right uh, okay let let is a better way Uh, there can be a race around condition this way suppose this is a positive edge of clock so suppose a is changing here adjust to the positive edge of clock right and uh, c is equal to a plus b example you know right c is equal to a plus b so uh, a is changing at the positive edge of clock okay and uh, a is nothing but the input so there can be there is ambiguity right the as for the tool right it can pick up a is equal to 10 or a, it can pick a is equal to 5 what should it pick up there's a ambiguity right but actually what should be the scenario a is equal to 5 it should have picked up means in a way it should have sampled uh, what is available before the positive edge clock there should be no ambiguity here right so you may expect that a is equal to 5 i have driven but you you are changing the input at positive edge clock right so there can be problems here so this type of ambiguity can come up so there can be a race around conditions right so your stimulus may be driving something to duty and your uh, duty is giving some output to the stimulus uh, and uh, you are expect expecting something uh, immediately right uh, but you, can, you you will need some time to get it right so so suppose you are sampling the inputs at the duty and you are sampling the inputs which is nothing but the output of the stimulus but the input of stimulus depends on the output of the duty f it will take some time for it to come back right <coughs> so there can be a race around condition based on this okay so to avoid this ambiguity this is a clocking block so what we'll do is we will sample one nice and for the clock okay and what one one more thing we can do is sample the output after in a way one nanosecond second of the positive edge of clock so no ambiguity is now okay so this is a simple funda Input and output from duty and DB are taken care. Input and output of duty will be taken as mode port duty. Same as for duty. Okay, so now you, these are mode port. You see there is no directions here, but interface you see you see it sit sit between the test case and the duty, right? So it needs direction. So like interface, so something is going input, right? And something here is going output. So and uh, you see interface is like a dual person, right? Uh, it, it has to communicate to test. It has to take the inputs from the test and it has to drive something to duty and it has to take some inputs from the duty and it has to drive back to the environment so right so it, ha it has to be inputs and outputs for environments as well test case as well as for the duty right so what you do is for duty you see uh, these are the input directions and uh, output these are the di directions and similarly for the tv side we are having this thing right you see the clock is the input in both the mode ports right I will explain you this what is going on okay don't worry so this is the interface you see in the duty now how i'm using this so dram underscore if dot duty so i'm calling a mode put duty you see what is duty there is other directions input clock data zero in data one in add zero add one enable write zero write one right? these are the things as it is what is the output data zero out and data one so i'm getting getting here right you see interface so this is this is the handle dram underscore if dot tut i'm calling the mode port and this is the handle okay interface look i'm declaring the memory here okay so this is a like a 64 cross 8 memory okay bits i am initialized the memory location now what i'm doing is at the interface clock so clock is the nothing but the external element before the interface also interface dot clock what i'm doing is as per the enable port i'm saying that data zero out data one out will be zero if enable is zero so nothing is there in the output in a way okay interface dot write zero so write zero is nothing but what it's a write information right so you need to write something to the memory so memory is getting written so as per the address value 
interface dot address value, particular address value, you will write data zero in. Okay, data zero in will go to the memory location. And when write zero is one, okay, in a way, so what will happen? That interface dot zero out, right? The output port will will be getting the memory value. And similarly, we do for data one out also. Okay, so this is a dual port RAM. I'm using the two different always ports. I think there's much no doubt, right? The interface till here, this point is clear. Uh, next, next we will go for the design. Now, uh, you might have noted right? this uh, test bench. Uh, this was the earlier presentation, right? So this is what the test bench, and this was your duty, and this was the stimulus. That that is how you would have initialized, right? Things. This is stimulus. This is the duty. Now, in this case, what what you would have done, you see, this is an interface block. I mean, I am creating the handle for the interface. I am creating the handle for the duty, and I am creating the handle for the TV. Okay. So, in a way, I am doing the same thing here. You see, there is an interface which will communicate between the stimulus and the duty, and this is nothing but the interface. Okay, and this will avoid the race around conditions. We will go further here. In the next lecture. Thanks.